guys, in this tutorial, I want to briefly take you through some of the most common errors in spreadsheeting that I see. Um, and the first one goes a little something like this. You'll notice that I've created a very basic spreadsheet, never mind the, um, the title up here. I've created a very basic spreadsheet um, and it's got the number of widgets, the cost per widget, and then a total. Um, so let's just say we have 100 widgets and that could be anything. It could be a loaf of bread, it could be a new car, it could be anything, whatever you're producing. And the cost per widget is $2. In that cell, which is essentially just those two cells put together and multiplied together, is 200. You'll see here that the cost isn't in any particular formatting. Normally we'd see, say, the cost expressed as a unit of dollars, pounds, or euros, or some type of currency. So let's just say we had another line and we had $2. So the cost is $2 multiplied by 200 should equal 400, shouldn't it? Oh, there's an error. Okay, so what's happened here is we've formatted this cell incorrectly. We've used the keyboard to type in a value um, which we expect to spit out in this last cell here. What spreadsheets require you to do is avoid using the keyboard to put in your formatting. What do I mean? This dollar symbol here is different to the dollar symbol you'd get if you put your own type of formatting in here. So the way to avoid it is to never put in a dollar symbol using the keyboard, but instead go up the top here, highlight, click on the cell, go up the top to formatting, and go down to Australian dollar, and you'll see it's worked there. The final error that we have is called a circular reference. So let's just say I wanted this cell, which is cell C5, to equal whatever value I put in D5. Now we know from past experience, whatever we put in here, so we put five in there, that cell's going to equal five. Whatever value is in D5 is going to equal what's in C5. But let's just say we put in D5, we're gonna make that value whatever is equal to in that cell. Oh, there's an error. And this is a circular dependency detected error. So what it's saying is your, what I've put in is C5 is equal to D5. But then I click on D5 and D5 is equal to C5. So what we have here is a circle. We have this one, I'll move away. We have this one equal, oops, pardon me. We'll have this one equal to this one. And on the other side, we'll have this one equal to this one. So we have two cells equaling the same thing, but with no reference for them. So what you need to do is you need to avoid having a circular reference in your, in your spreadsheets. I know that sounds quite simplistic, it's easy for me to say right here, but you can also have a circular reference when it's in a range. So it doesn't just have to be two cells, you could have many number of cells added together, and then you have many other cells added together based on what you put in those particular cells. You can have many different types of circular references. So you've got to go through, wherever you see this, and go back and error check and find the cells that it's talking about until you get to the original one and go, hold on a second, I can't have that one equaling that one and that one equal that one. I have to put in a different value. So that is a circular reference. It's a bit more uncommon, but more complex than the first one. But the first one is very common. Um, just remember with that one, never put formatting in using keyboard, only do it by the top bar up here and you'll be fine. If you have any questions or you have a problem with one of your own spreadsheets, be sure to leave a comment below or contact us um, on our website, you'll find plenty of details, www.intostocks.com.au.